As we continue to process that pause on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, there is growing concern about medical experts. Uh, this will further drive a wedge between people willing to get the vaccine and those on the fence. And Local 5's Elias Johnson shares what the nation's leading experts think. I think it's safe to assume that we all pretty much know COVID-19 vaccines are the key in getting life back to normal. But here's the important part. Enough Americans have to get that shot in order for us to get there to reach herd immunity. Dr. Anthony Fauci with the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases says he is concerned that the J&J &J pause might have people who have been kind of on the fence to not get the shot at all. There have been about 120 million people who have received at least one vaccine dose. Uh, namely, uh, I would say there was uh, about 6.85 of that million is the J&J. &J. So that means there's about 115 million people who've received either the Moderna or the Pfizer. And there has been no uh, signal, no red flags at all of any serious adverse events. I think people need to realize that. Especially when you take into account the number of people who have gotten the J&J &J vaccine and the very few who have had any side effects. Jock, Dr. Fauci says it's important for people to understand infectious disease experts always take adverse events very seriously. But in the big picture here, vaccines are extremely safe. And he said it's all about weighing the risks of getting coronavirus as opposed to protecting yourself with that shot in the arm. In studio, Elias Johnson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. As with anything vaccine related, there is a lot of misinformation going around on social media. Be aware of it and don't share it. Make sure to check the sources in an article and think about who is sharing that information.